What is good internet? It is Spirit of Paradox here and welcome back to a new video. We all know the Ultimate Universe returns this summer with Ultimate Invasion. But before we step in, before we return to the Ultimate Universe, let's go back to where it all began in Ultimate Origins. We start off in Manhattan Docks six months ago, where Dr. Bruce Banner is trying to explain to Spider-Man how it's all connected. Himself, Spider-Man, and many others in the Ultimate Universe. Spider-Man doesn't know who Dr. Bruce Banner is, and is trying to get him to elaborate more. But before Dr. Bruce Banner could do that, the warehouse gets broken into by a bunch of soldiers followed by General Thaddeus Ross. We all know how this goes down. The military f fights the Incredible Hulk and chases him, and it's just a never-ending cycle of destruction. Spider-Man's here trying to de-escalate the situation, and Bruce Banner is just shouting how he wants to be left alone. While this is all happening, Bruce Banner is turning into the Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man's Spidey Centers is going off, and General Ross shouts fire. When this happens, the Incredible Hulk breaks out of the warehouse and is on the run from the military. And this is how Ultimate Origins begins. We time skip back into August of 1952 in the events of World War II. We see the first predecessor to Captain America in name only and he shouts this is for our freedom and then right afterwards he would be riddled with bullets on the battlefield. The White House gets a hold of this information and they are not happy about it. The president says he wants a real super soldier who can be a God-fearing symbol and this will be the first step into creating the super soldier serum and Captain America. One year later, we get introduced to a young Nick Fury, a young James Howlett, and a member of the Fisk family. I'm not sure if this is Wilson Fisk's father or grandfather, but still, they are members nonetheless. Fisk and Howlett are looting the area, while Nick Fury is trying to keep an eye out. Unfortunately, they would end up being detected, and Fury and his team would end up being locked up. Nick Fury would then be put in a cell with prisoners in an unknown location. But certain people were moving towards Nick's cell and then is seen with guards and Dr. Abraham Erskine. This is the man who creates the super soldier serum in the 616 universe and in the ultimate universe. Dr. Erskine chooses Nick Fury to be his test subject and Nick Fury gets transported to the laboratory. The whole room is filled with soldiers and scientists very eager to see how the procedure will go. So when this is happening, Nick Fury is being as resilient as possible until the procedure works. And when it happens, it is very violent and explosive. And this is when Nick Fury becomes the first super soldier in the Ultimate Universe. Nick Fury wastes no time and starts kicking everybody's asses. In this page he is a lot more stronger, faster and agile compared to how he was before the experiment. Nick Fury would then go out of his way to release the prisoners and break out of there. 
and when he does, he finds himself in the 1940s New York City. Dr. Erskine is then showed with a guard, and the guard lets him know the prisoners are gone and they are looking for Nick Fury. But it doesn't matter because Dr. Erskine found the breakthrough and will replicate the Super Soldier Serum. In 1943, October in Canada, we see the early stages of Ultimate Wolverine. He was in a test lab being experimented on and then woken up. Wolverine looks very confused and picks up a weapon and then tries to get out of there as fast as he possibly can. He gets followed by guards with weapons and they are all targeting him. They catch up to him and then shoot him and then they realise how all of his wounds are starting to heal at a much faster pace. The soldiers started to become increasingly worried so they brought him back to base. As they were doing so, they were being watched by the ultimate watcher. And then we go back to the Weapon X facility three years later, where we see two scientists talking about what it is with Wolverine's DNA that allowed him to heal. And one of the doctors explains how his genes have mutated and how this allows him to become um, resilient to damage and has accelerated healing. And Wolverine is the only person at this time to have this gene. So yes, Wolverine is technically the first ever mutant of the Ultimate Universe. And that is issue number one of Ultimate Origins. Thank you very much for watching this video. Before I go, I just want to say this is actually my first ever comic book issue breakdown where i've got a specific comic and i have broken it down and explained the story so i just want to say thank you very much for watching again if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a light or oh, a like sorry we've got plenty of ultimate marvel universe content coming so if you guys are excited for ultimate invasion this is the channel you want to be on. We are going to be releasing some Ultimate Universe content in the meantime. And we're also going to do some news videos. But that's not only the only content I do on this channel, folks. I also do other Marvel content that's not related to the Ultimate Universe. DC as well. And anything comic book related. I also do video games and movies too. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below on ultimate origins and give me some criticism on how i can improve on my editing skills like i said this is the first video i have ever made in this format in breaking down a comic book so i'm a bit um, raw when it comes down to uh, my editing here so please let me know what i can improve on and uh, what you liked about the editing or if you like to anyway and i will see you in the next one Thank you very much for your support. Take care.